Yo, what's going on, you guys? Your boy Pony Montana. And in this video, we're going to be going over the top run tips that you guys could start implementing into your run game to be better runners in Madden 22. Now, before I get into it, if you guys are new, make sure you guys are hitting that subscribe button. We're just going to jump right into these videos from now on. We're not going to do the whole spiel, but this is the first time I'm saying this. So we got to do a little spiel before the little spiel. So this is going to be like a top five kind of situation of the best run tips that we can offer you guys to become better at Madden 22. Now, I'm just gonna call a random play on the defensive end. And the first tip that I, that I kinda wanna start with is a big one that a lot of people do not do for some reason, and that is the turbo button. For those of you guys who don't know, the turbo button is R2 or right trigger. It, it makes your guy accelerate and run faster in Madden 22. Now, I'm just gonna come on in, inside zone out of gun wing stack, okay? And one of the main things about the turbo button is you do not wanna be holding trigger coming straight out of the gate when you're running in between tackles now if you guys are running a stretch play that's a different situation because obviously you want to get to that second level towards the outside as fast as possible and avoid as many people as possible when you're running like one of those outside plays like a stretch or an outside zone or a buck sweep type of play if you guys are running inside zone oh one trap power o's um weak zone runs anything like that you guys are gonna want to let go of the turbo button as you guys are running in between tackles. A lot of people are, they complain about the sheds in Madden 22, but one of the biggest issues is that you're simply just calling hike and you're just holding down turbo. Now, I know that was a horrible example and I got a decent amount of yards, but a majority of the time you guys are struggling with running the ball simply because you guys are just holding down turbo and hoping for a mistake from the defense. Now, again, I know, I know I'm know i running and Saquon Barkley's torching them, but I promise you, a lot of people are struggling with this simply because they're holding turbo. Now, I know I, you know, I'm just the stickiest in the world, but once you start holding turbo, that's when the sheds happen for some reason. When you sit there and you let it go, you're going to be able to get a lot more yards by letting turbo go than, than just by holding trigger. Now, this time we ended up getting pancakes. And I'm sitting there making moves on top of moves, kind of showing the run stick. And that's obviously, uh, that's that's a more advanced tutorial, you know, run stick and stuff like that. But these are simple tips that are going to help you guys out. And a big one is holding, letting go of turbo. It helps you become a shiftier player because if you're holding, if you're holding sprint, and I'm holding sprint now, as you can see, like the shed happened with the cornerback. This guy chased me down from behind easily. Um, if you guys are holding sprint, you can't move as shifty as you want. It, like the way that you move, you're kind of sliding in like a big S instead of like, you know, being able to like kind of crisscross like a Z. And if you let go of turbo, you can kind of do this little crisscross action where you guys can kind of shift in between tackles and not get shedded as easily or move around someone who did shed easily. And it, it'll make your run game a little bit better. It's one. It's a big thing that, that a lot of people mess up when they are playing Madden. Now, the second tip that I kind of want to bring to you guys is weak side runs versus strong side runs. Now, on the offensive side, I'm I'm gonna come out in. Let's let's come out in a trusty, in a trusty good play that everybody likes to run. Okay, let's just run HB Power O out of I form wing, and, and on the offensive side, we're gonna just run a, a random defense. Now, right now. The strong side is to the right side for the offense. Now, weak side runs are when you run the opposite way. But as you can see, there is a linebacker on the weak side that's op that's opened up there. We can run that side, but it looks like we have numbers to the right side. Play the numbers game. That is tip number two. You guys have to learn how to play the numbers game in Madden. If you got more numbers on the right side than they do on the defense, run it that way. Again, utilize Oh my god, I don't even know what he did there. Utilize the 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 not holding the turbo. Now we're actually end up now we're actually gonna end up getting uh probably should get a bunch of pancakes, but but you utilize the tur the the letting go of turbo when you're running in between tackles, and you guys should be good when it comes to running running the ball, you know, against most defenses. Play the numbers game. Now, right now they have someone that's completely on the outside. Who's this? The, this is the Nickelback, which means that this side right here where Clark and Peters and Bowser and Campbell are, this whole side is wide open for you. Wide, wide open for you. 
which means that you are going to run this ball to the right and you're going to have an extra blocker out there which means what you're going to have one man to beat out there and you're going to be able to get a lot a lot more yards now if you guys have a trucking back you're going to want to truck again same situation you got a single high safety right you got a single high safety four linebackers and you have no extra help on that right side and again these are random all these are random defenses you have no extra help on that right side so in my head i'm thinking rudolph is going to be able to pick off this guy right here then engram is going to be able to pick off this guy right here and then my fullback is just going to lead block that is that is my impression when it comes to this so you follow you follow that lead blocker and as you can see the numbers game catches up to the defense and you're going to be good to go it's going to help you guys out tremendously if you guys are if you guys are running the ball okay now this is a, this is a, this is a little gimme tip uh one thing that you guys want to do when you guys are running the ball don't just click o okay because when, once you click O from time to time, you might end up clicking on one of the linemen, as you can see. Now, one thing that people don't know is if you click onto a lineman, that is a telltale sign that you are running the ball. Now, I know run commit in Madden 22 does, or any Madden for that for that matter, doesn't work as intended, but it is something that will kind of show the defense or whoever it is that you guys are playing on defense that you are running the ball. Now I'm going to audible to a pass real quick and I'm going to try to get on alignment. You see, I can't get on alignment. These are two tight ends that are on the right side. I can't get on alignment if I'm passing the ball. Now let me audible back to a run. I'm running the ball now. Now you see how I can get on Sauter, Hernandez, Jones, Lemmy, Lemmyo, or however you pronounce his name and Thomas. This is because I'm running the ball. It's a telltale sign. If you, if you keep it on the quarterback, the running back or any of the tight ends, you're good to go but as soon as you go down and you click or you accidentally click on one of these guys if you're playing a smart player they're going to run commit they're going to sit there and they're going to engage the run as much as possible they're going to blitz everybody and they're going to run commit i almost guarantee you it's going to happen and you might not even be you might not even realize that you've made this mistake but there are people that are still clicking on their o linemen and then it's going to result in a loss of down in a loss of yards and a bad down for you guys because it's going to be a very very frustrating thing to deal with now if you guys are facing somebody who's shifting their defense towards that strong side you see how we just shifted the the linebackers all the way to to the right side like that flip a play and run to the weak side the weak side just means that it has less people on it pr pretty much or it doesn't have the tight end or the fullback on that specific side so running towards the weak side we're playing the numbers game again as you can see we we had one man to beat but the but the cornerback just didn't just didn't block again we played the weak side let me let me shift them again just to kind of showcase the left side is the weak side so if you see something like this and you have a chance flip it to the opposite side and then try to go crazy obviously you know we we ended up getting you know kind of jammed up there with our linemen but the weak side runs will help you guys out play the numbers game it's a huge tip that a lot of people need to need to realize figure out and kind of help themselves out with that specific tip now another tip tip number three or technically four but tip number four is iding and double teaming so this is four and five all mixed into one IDing people and double teaming people that is that helps lead to pancake runs people do not know this a lot of people don't know this only good good runners know this when you double team people from time to time if they're only sending four or three out of certain formations you will start getting more pancake runs now i don't know if it's going to happen here it, it didn't happen here but once you double team or id it kind of it kind of makes sure that your linemen pick those guys up now right here we can bring in the weak sides versus strong side situation we have a pulling guard and a fullback here so what we're gonna do we're gonna double team this guy here and we're gonna id this guy okay so now we have a guy double team and id'd which means those two guys should not look look every everybody got people started getting pancake that weak side run goes crazy these are crucial tips to make you guys better and what are they in two four five which i don't think two four five typically gets uh 
gets pancaked like that I could I, I could be wrong correct me in the comment section if you guys want to I'm not one of those guys that cares but it looks like there's three linebackers there mm, who knows but like I said we're getting pancakes because we're we're in an I form we're in an I formation so we're gonna get those pancakes going crazy now again we should get pancakes again but this time we're gonna run towards the strong side and we're gonna ID the mic and we're gonna double team so no pancakes but as you can see you see how crazy the blocking was now i'm just gonna drop down because obviously the safety wasn't there because it was on the other controller um oh for those of you guys who don't know how to double team you press the l1 button and it brings up your pass protection and i know it says pass protection but for some reason it, it kind of works in the run game as well and then you double team by moving the right stick down and then you move the left stick over now you can only double team people that are that are on the line you can only double team those people so we're going to double team this outside linebacker and then we're going to id by pressing l1 or left bumper if you guys are on xbox pressing x or a and then you can id whoever you guys want on the field depending on their levels when it comes to uh how deep how how far back they are within the zone okay so like pretty much if they're within like a five yard range you're going to be able to id them so let's just, let's just id this guy here and see and see what we can do now that guy gets blocked that guy gets picked up we let go of turbo completely and as you can see we're able to go crazy on the run but the guy that we double teamed he got picked up and he got held the entire time okay we we chose to double team this guy here and look what happened they say it's it they say it only works in the passing game but take it from somebody who is exceptionally well at running it works in the run game as well now the last thing that i kind of want to touch base on is something that i can't really showcase here because it's more of a mutt related tip abilities if you guys have abilities now i don't know what what abilities say quan barkley has if you guys if you guys are heavy runners make sure you guys are using your abilities to the best of your you know make sure that you're using them to the best of your make sure you're using your abilities to the best of your abilities like if you have a derrick henry please don't put evasive on him and try to sit there and spin with him it's derrick henry put bulldozer on him put the stiff arm on him put the put the trucking animations on him put reach for it on him he's already a tank who's gonna get you guys a lot of yards put reach for it put tank put anything that's gonna make that derrick henry go absolutely crazy add it to add it to your run game it's only going to make it a lot more frustrating for your opponent to play and obviously if your opponent is going to sit there and play you're going to be able to go crazy on that now not just running abilities but make sure you guys are putting running uh post up abilities and abilities on your linemen as well i believe all day and post up are the two best abilities for the run game if you're not putting something like puller elite on now when you double team here this is gonna this should lead to pancakes it didn't lead to as many pancakes as i thought but same 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 thing but again those abilities can make or break how how effective your run game is now i know a lot of people want to use their abilities on passing and so that they don't get shedded once they do have to pass but post up and all day also work for the passing game as well so if you have more post ups or more all days you're going to be able to sit there and run the ball a lot more effectively in madden 22 so hop to it get it popping go crazy get you some abilities on the field that are going to help you guys run the ball a lot better that is it for the best run tips in madden 22 elevate your run game man make sure you guys are commenting down below like the video comment down below subscribe if you knew whatever the case may be yeah we're gonna do the spiel at the end but you ain't you ain't gotta hear it at the start because we're gonna hop right into the content but as always you guys two fingers deuces and i'll see you guys in the next one